There is a brand new exhibit opening at the Barnes Museum. It has dozens of pieces in it, each with a story and a message. Eyewitness News reporter Victoria Woodall has more on this exhibit celebrating Native art. From mesmerizing metals to colorful textiles and hand hugged pottery, this weekend marks the beginning of how you can explore the living traditions of Southwest Native art at the Barnes Museum. So dive in, take a deep inhale, and enter their newest exhibit, Water. Wind, breath. This exhibition tells the story of Dr. Albert Barnes' um, trips to the Southwest, to New Mexico and Arizona, in 1929, 1930, and 1931. He eagerly attended Pueblo dances, um, and he just experienced the community. This is just a, another window into Dr. Barnes. What was inspiring to him was to see how Navajo and Pueblo people were living with these arts in their day to day. Many of the pieces in the Clinton Barnes collection, they were first were used in households, they were used in communities for different reasons. And that kind of again shows that transformation, you know, from things being used. Um, largely in communities and to things being made for sale. There are 100 pieces that each hold a story. Textiles that you're seeing that are very bright are Navajo. In the late 1860s and early 1870s, the Navajos received commercially made yarns from this area, from Germantown, Pennsylvania. And if you look close enough, a message that just may move you. The pieces I mean, here are from uh, Zuni Pueblo. They show this idea of, uh, again, transformation, basically that life is basically possible through water.